Although the World Cup is about soccer and national pride for the teams playing in the tournament over the years, it has also been about the music. From Cannon's waving flag to Shakira's waka waka, each of the World Cup has produced iconic songs that have gone on to become anthems for millions of fans around the world. Now this year, one of the most popular World Cup songs is titled Black Stars. It is a tribute to Ghana's national team. It was produced by Kweku Flick, an up-and-coming artist who is making a name for himself in Ghana and across West Africa. I went by his studio to talk to him about his music and the love for his favorite team, the Black Stars. Let's check it out. Kweku Flick is one of the most exciting young upcoming artists in Ghana. The World Cup season has brought special focus on him because of his hit song titled Black Stars, a tribute to his national team currently representing the country at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. And as the Black Stars were preparing for their first game against Portugal, I paid Kweku a visit at his studio in the outskirts of Accra. Welcome, welcome, thank you, thank welcome, you. Welcome. Bro, what's up, bro? You're welcome. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Hi, so you're welcome to, to Bani Music. Thank you. Studios. That's where all the magic happens. And then, fortunately, today you came to meet the producer. That's Tubani. Hi, Tubani. Yeah. And that's Pablo. The what's up, Pablo? Root boy, Pablo. No, the road god. The road god. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's Blanca. Hi, Blanca. Yeah, Blanca is one of our managers, too. Nice to meet you. Them. And this so is that's the superstar. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your name? My name is Jackson. Jackson. Nice to meet nice you, bro. Yeah. What are you doing in Accra? Okay, so we, we are here um, previously to promote the Black Star song. Yeah. Originally from the city of Kumasi, Kweku is in Accra this week to make media appearances and perform for his fans in the capital. He talks to me about his young career and ambitions to continue in the footsteps of high life legends and Afrobeat artists that inspired his journey. Okay, so I grew up listening to Reg Jemfi. He's an high life, um, he's a high life um, artist. And also Nanam Pedu, a high life artist. Amachi Didi, Dad Lumba, and where we come to this modern musicians, I have family. Whiskey is a big inspiration to me. Yeah, I grew up listening to Whiskey too. He says that because of the different influences, he does not want to be boxed into a one genre type artist. I don't really put myself in a box. I'm an artist, I'm a musician, so I focus on every genre of music. But I have favorite genres like high life music and also hip hop. Because I think many genres were originated from the high life music. And I think it's a, it's a proper Ghanaian sound that these Afro beats were originated from. Okay, so I'm changing the game by blending the other genres to the hard life music. Because I have a song titled Iriasi. If you listen to Iriasi, it's a blend of hard life, a hip hop, drill, and um, different, different, different genres in one song. So I think that's, that's how I'm also changing the game. Kweku says that even though he's originally from Kumasi, and that remains his musical best, Technology and specifically social media has allowed him to reach fans all over the world. People will know you well, but I think right now the youth and everyone is on social media, so it's it's easy for you to be well known. Hey, this music thing is a is a broad thing. It's a journey. And um, nobody knows tomorrow. I'm just hoping for the best. And I'm just working as a young artist. I'm just focusing. No pressure. I, ha um, I have different, different, different people supporting from elsewhere. Because anytime I drop a different song or a new song, I got different followers. Like grown up, the kids, the youth, and everyone. So I think it's a good growth for me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 